In this tutorial, we'll be going over some partial pressure example problems. So let's get started here on uh, part A. So we have a mixture of gases and they give us grams here and they just simply ask what are the mole fractions. So um, you should be using, uh, so in other words, you have a mixture of gases. So you have, let's say this is O2, this is uh, N2, and then we have um, H2. Okay, so what are the mole fractions? So you want to take each individual gas, okay, and then divide it by the sum of all the moles of the t of the of each gas. So remember, we use the Greek letter chi for each mole fraction. So mole fraction of O2 is the moles of O2 divided by the moles of O2, the moles of N2, and the moles of H2. Likewise, you would do that with uh, each individual gas. You could do that. Okay, and then for the last one, if you wanted, um, you could use this one. If, you, if you're solving, let's say you save H2 for last. Okay, you could just do 1.0 minus, um, or actually, I mean, this is this is this is an exact number. If you ever use this 1.0, okay, minus the uh, uh, minus the uh, mole amounts of the other gases, O2 plus uh, plus N2. Okay, or you could or you could set it up like the, like the other ones. Okay, so for part B, it says, what's the partial pressure in atmosphere of each component of this mixture if it's held in a 12.4 liter container at 15 C? So this container is 12.40 liters, and it's at 15 degrees Celsius. So they say, what is the partial pressure? So the pressure of O2, you, so, you know, usually these types of problems, you're going to use what you got in part A for to answer stuff that they ask about in part B. So this problem is no different. You're going to use the mole fraction. So if you want the partial pressure of O2, you would use the fraction of O2 times the uh, the total pressure. Okay, the mole fraction times the uh, total pressure. Okay, if you read this problem correctly, uh, you should be able to get the uh, the total pressure. So if we have, uh, we're going to end up getting the uh, this right here. To give you a hint here, so uh, this right here is equal to the total moles. And when you're using the ideal gas law, uh, you can use if you're trying to get the total pressure. Okay, then remember remember this again. I, I stated this before in other lessons, other tutorials, but but always remember this. Okay, when you're solving for pressure, moles, or volume. They, the P, V, and N, they have to match. So if you want the total pressure, which, which you need to do these uh, part B, then it's going to be equal to the total moles, okay, times RT over the total volume, okay, and the total volume, it's all in the same container, so that would just be 12.40. Okay, so those are the those I'm I'm done with the hints on this one. So let's move to the second problem. Consider the apparatus shown in the drawing. Uh, when the switch between the containers is opened, the gases are allowed to mix. How would the uh, how does the volume change for N2? How does the volume of O2 mix? And then what is the total pressure in the container? So when this is opened, okay, the the this portion right here is 2.0 liters and this portion right here is 3.0 liters so what would the new volumes be for N2 and O2 okay so I think you could see that you would just add the two volumes so uh, on and on this problem uh, uh, let me give you another hint here that this this whole thing is sealed so your total moles your moles of N2 is fixed so that number stays the same your moles of O2 is fixed so that number stays the same and notice the temperature stays the same so question then what gas law can you use if your moles and temperature are fixed
when gasol is used when n and t are fixed and when i say fixed uh the probably the the proper term is these two are constant okay and then my other hint here is this this kind of involves a, a before and after problem so you had one volume and now you're going to have a new volume okay so there there kind of involves a before and after okay and also the other thing is you want the total pressure in this whole apparatus so the the total pressure would be equal to the pressure of n2 plus the pressure of o2 okay the new pressure of n2 and the new pressure of o2 like the after pressure okay so i'm done with my hints on this one um Okay, let's go to the next slide. So we have a quantity of N2, and it's under these conditions. Okay, so you have a N2. Okay, and it's in uh, it's at 4.75 atm, and it's it's in a in a one liter container, 1.00. And uh, it's at the temperature of this gas is at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, and next you have another container, so a 10 liter container. Okay, and then you have some, uh, what's the other gas? O2. So you have O2 in here. This is at 5.25 atm. Uh, it's a 10 liter, 10.0 liter container, and this gas is at 26 degrees Celsius, and this is O2. Okay, so what is the total pressure in the new container? Okay, when, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I read this problem a little wrong. So it's at, this is at a 1 liter container, gets transferred to a 10 liter container. Uh, trying to go a little too fast here, so. Um, all right, so we have a five liter, five point zero liter container, and it's at five point two five atm, and it's at twenty six six degrees Celsius. Okay, and this is our O two. Okay, and these uh, both get transferred to a new container. Okay, into a 10 liter container um, and it says what is the total pressure in this new container so my hints to you then are um, it says to show this in two ways so show two ways to solve this so my hints to you are um, they give you enough data to get some unknown variable okay so what's your unknown here Okay, and then they give you the same information for the other gas. So what are you solving for here? Okay, and if you want the total pressure here, and we're using a similar equation to what we had earlier, it's going to be equal to the total moles that are in here. So you're going to have all the uh, all the N2 plus all the O2. So what's the total pressure then? So it should be equal to... The total moles, so it's all of this plus all this. That's the total moles times RT over V. So you have V, uh, you have, let's see, at 20 degrees. So they give you the temperature. They tell you that this number is 20 degrees Celsius. So we need to figure out the total moles are, and then you could solve this problem. Okay, so let's see what you guys come up with on these three problems.